we developed evaluation form this morning. Um, if everybody can just fill this out and bring it to us at the end of the day. Um, and uh, this just help, helps us evaluate this symposium. And you can just drop it off at the table right outside at the exit. And if everybody needs, anybody needs continuing education units in who's licensed or certified MFTs, LCSWs, uh, KDC, KTC, CAS, or RAS, you guys can see me at the table right at the entrance of the auditor. I can give you guys an evaluation certificate at the end of the day. If you've already seen me, just remember to sign out and turn in your evaluation. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. And Angela? Angela's going to give the university welcome. Thank you for coming, Angela. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Charles R. Drew University President, Dr. David Carlisle, I want to welcome you all to the seventh Drug Abuse Research Symposium. Drug addiction is a brain disease. Part of my welcome remarks this morning will be to introduce the university and its uniqueness. The second part of my remarks will leave you with a challenge to consider. First, I'd like to say that Charles Drew University is a private university with a public mission. It was conceived by the Charles Drew Medical Society, and it was built in 1965 due to the Watts Uprising, where residents in this area demanded that they be given access to health care services and health professions education and training opportunities. The university was actually incorporated in 1966. It is the only HBCU west of the Mississippi. In fact, it is actually an historically black graduate institution. It is also the only duly designated historically black college and university and Hispanic serving university in the nation. As you might note, the university is named after a physician. It is the only health professions university that is named after a physician. Dr. Charles Richard Drew, who we give honor to as a brilliant African American physician, famous for pioneering his work in blood preservation that has saved billions of lives since World War II and whose short 46 years of life was full of achievement, saving lives, learning, and sharing his knowledge, which benefits all mankind today. The university and its emphasis on service to the community continues to draw inspiration from Dr. Drew's life. The university's mission is to conduct education, research, and clinical services in the context of community engagement, to train health professionals who promote wellness, provide care with excellence and compassion, and transform the health of underserved communities. The university's mission is achieved by educating almost 600 students annually in three colleges, the College of Medicine, the College of Science and Health, which by the way have recently received accreditation by the Council for Education and Public Health, a very prestigious accreditation, and the newest Mervyn M. Dimely School of Nursing, who in just two years since admitting its first class, received accreditation by the National League for Nursing Accrediting Commission. The university's mission is also achieved through excellent research. Our researchers here at Charles Drew perform high quality research that is focused around health disparities. Talking about Drew is easy. But since I'm giving the welcome, and I'm only supposed to be at this podium for 15 minutes, I want to talk to you about your presence and focus for today. Your focus for today will be to learn and hear about cutting-edge research on substance abuse and addiction, a topic and subject that I would suggest is understudied, underfunded, and whose workforce is and will be in high demand in order to meet the challenges associated with increased health insurance and access to health services that are promised by the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, also known as health care reform. As I close my welcome remarks, I hope that as researchers, counselors, educators, allied health professionals, and others in this field, you will take on an advocacy and public policy role to inform local, state, and national legislative and congratulations of your findings, and more importantly, include recommendations 
that will help to address the issues and reduce the resultant disparities that exist with access to drugs, alcohol, and other substance abuse addictions that disproportionately impact underserved communities like ours here in South LA and other rural and urban underserved communities throughout California. Again, I thank you on behalf of our president for coming today, for your support of CDU, for su your support of this symposium, and most importantly, for your research on this very important subject. Thank you. Um, Ms. Betty, so, so beautiful words, really inspirational. I really appreciate uh, um, We have a couple of minutes. Does anyone want to have any questions about Charles Drew University and our, our mission here that um, Ms. Minifield might want to answer? Um, people that are new. Okay, good. I'm glad you're knows about us. And again, beautiful words, and I really appreciate your support and Dr. Carlisle's support. So I think we can go ahead with our keynote speaker, Dr. Benowitz. Um, Dr. Benowitz is professor, professor of, at the Department of Medicine and Biopharmaceutical Sciences, Psychiatry, and Clinical Pharmacy. He's the co-leader of the Tobacco Control Program at UC San Francisco. Dr. Benowitz has, Benowitz has made uh, major strides in the issues of nicotine um, uh, abuse, policy, um, treatment, clinical treatment for smoking cessation. Uh, we went out to dinner with him last night, and he's just, just a brilliant uh, researcher and a very caring person that I'd like to uh, have dinner with. So we're very proud of that here today, and um, please come up and um, thank you. Can you hear this? Is this broadcasting? So this is for the recording. Okay. And you know what this is called? Right here, I got on flash starting. Yeah, do that. Um, I've got a question. 